Hello. We're going to practice a breath called Ego Eradicator. So it's working with the Manipura, the solar plexus, and we talked about the inflated or the deflated ego, either taking us to pride and grandiosity or that sense of not being good enough and shame. And it connects us to our true source of power and it builds, it strengthens the uh, nervous system, it's very detoxifying, it strengthens the immune system and it builds our inner strength. The mudra is to curl the fingers in so that the fingertips are on the fleshy mounds at the base of the fingers and the thumbs are pointing up and we inhale the arms up to 60 degrees, the thumbs are pointing up like that, and then you lower the shoulders down. So those are, that's the mudra and the arms. And just to explain the breath of fire if you haven't done it before, it's a gentle pumping of the navel with the exhale. So you actually focus on the exhale in this breath and the inhale happens without you having to think about it. It just happens naturally, the body takes it. And I'm going to exaggerate it to begin with, but it's actually a very gentle breath. So you inhale and feel the belly ballooning out. And then as you exhale, you pull the navel in. So it's like you're pushing out the breath. So if you imagine the diaphragm, as you inhale, it comes down like that. And then as you exhale, pushing the navel in, the diaphragm comes up and the air shoots out. And then the body will just take air in and you're focusing on that. So it's... So just give that a go. Taking in an inhale, letting the balloon, the belly balloon, and then pump, 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 pump. You might need to start more slowly. And if you feel like you need to have one hand on the belly while you're getting into the rhythm, by all means do, and then bring it up into the, into the position. So the breath is light. It's, as I said, it's very detoxifying. So if you become at all lightheaded, that's the toxins releasing. If you feel you need to just come back to long, deep breathing, come back to long, deep breathing, and then when you feel ready, begin again. And it's advised not to do this on the first two days of your cycle. So to practice at any other time. So let's try this for a minute. Bringing the hands into the mudra if you're ready for that. Inhaling the arms up. And then relaxing the shoulders down. Closing the eyes and just hold the focus at the third eye point. Let the back of the neck be long. Root down through the hips. And let's inhale to begin. Finding a rhythm which works for you. Face relaxed. Deep inhale. 
Allow the hands to come up over the head, the thumbs touch. Pause the breath, feel the sensations. Exhale. Powerful inhale. Stretch the fingers up, really stretch through the body. Feel the sensations, all that energy you've generated. And then as you exhale, float the arms down. Touch the fingers to the floor, to the ground. And with your eyes closed, bring the palms into your lap and just feel the effects of that pranayama. Take a deep, full inhale. And a deep exhale, relaxing the shoulders, softening the jaw. Deep inhale. And a full exhale. Gently flutter the eyes open. Well done. So this is a breath that you can do in cycles. I suggest building it up. So you might want to start with 30 seconds, pause, 30 seconds, pause, 30 seconds. If you feel that you can go for a minute, go for a minute and then pause and then you might want to do another minute, pause and then another minute, pause. But build it up gradually. You don't want to feel any strain or force. So if you can feel that you're face is starting to kind of grimace <laughs> and your shoulders are becoming tense um, or you're losing your rhythm because uh, it can take a bit of time for the muscles in the diaphragm to build up um, then bring it back down like come to you might just want to start with 10 seconds at a time so 10 seconds pause 10 seconds pause so find the rhythm that allows you to build it gently so that the strength can come naturally without strain or force. So it's certainly not a forceful breath, it's a powerful breath, but there's no need for force. And if you feel any strain at all, then just back off, come back to long deep breathing and then come back to it when you're ready. I look forward to hearing how you get on.